Oh my God. Welcome back everybody to Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth too. I'm really sorry that the last episode was so short, but if I'm right and this is the last testimony, I want to concentrate on it. I want it to be as long as possible because there's probably going to be a huge backstory after it. It's probably going to be sad because I'm already starting to feel bad about this. I, I'm worried about this. We still don't know enough, but we do know that this guy has had the disease of losing his taste and he needed the recipe, but it's also been so long. So I really don't know why he's holding on to the information, but we're going to find out. Dessert for the finals. Let's find out what the hell he's talking about. So Dober and I cooperated until the finals. I handled the flavor. He was in charge of the design. However, for the finals, I wanted to challenge Sir Master with my own skills. That's what he said before at Chessland. I helped Sir Dover make his entry, but I made mine completely on my own. If the flavor of my entry wasn't good enough, my own lack of training was to blame. Wait, that's it? Wait, that's it? There's no way that's it. There's no way. How about that, Sir Prosecutor? This is the truth of 18 years ago. There's no way it would be that simple. We know better. Ugh, I can't find any contradictions in his testimony. Well, then we'll just have to... What are we going to do? We'll just have to press everything. That's what we do. Well, of course he's going to fess up that easily. This guy's been on the run for 18 years, after all. That is true. I guess we'll just have to keep on pressing him until he breaks, eh? Sounds awful, but I guess we have to do it. Yes. Come on, Miles. We've done this before. Let's do it. It's time for the bottle. All right. Everything. Sir Dover and I cooperated until the finals. I handled the flavor. He was in charge of the denial. Now, I feel this is a true statement, but I'm still going to press everything just to see if he'll say anything. So, Mr. Dover took care of the design while you handled the flavor? Sir Dover was a sculptor by trade. His sense of design was splendid. But he was just an amateur chef. We combined our strengths by working together. <laughs> you never did have much design sense, did you, Mr. Gustavia? <laughs> oh, wow, Ray. Just stick it right to him. Well, what? No, 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 no. Look, I, I saw. All you know how to make is a balls and a dick. Oh, and that. And ho-oh. I get it, it's beautiful. What do you think of this? Hmm, that's the symbol of Zangfa. Oh, it is, I forgot that ho -Oh was the symbol of Zangfa. Wow, a phoenix, that's really good. Whoa, you really have improved these past 18 years. Ha 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 ha, behold. The fruits of my 18 years of training. He really does look like a Goron when he smiles, doesn't he? I just, we I just realized this, weird. <laughs> I put my life and limb on the line for my dessert skills. It's true that I cooperated with Sir Dover 18 years ago, up until the finals. Right, right, and that's where you go into saying this. However, for the finals, I wanted to challenge Sir Master with my own skills. Okay, tell me more about that. So, you were really serious about the title of World's Greatest Pastry Chef? Yes. Confectionery is my life. Naturally, I wanted to be the world's greatest. But... Back then, I was still inexperienced, and I was no match for the better chef. But your goal was to also obtain the angel's recipe, right? Wouldn't the recipe book be worth more to you than the title? Yeah, what about that? Wait, see, oh, you're still here? I will not stand by and watch you badger a convalescent man like this. What are you talking about? He just made a phoenix right in front of our face. He's fine. Can you make a phoenix? I didn't think so, ma'am. All right, get back into your corner, will you? Forgot you were even here. I mean, you were so nice before we Oh, it's because we were in Gay Chessland. She's not allowed. My gavel shall protect you, Mr. Gustavia. Oh, I realize he's still recuperating, but... Mr. Gustavia, do not yield to this devilish prosecutor. I almost thought that said prostitute. I'm not gonna lie, guys. <laughs> I almost fucking said it. Now then, please continue with your testimony. What the frick? I wonder if she's gonna keep stopping us if we do too much. I don't, it, they didn't say anything, so I don't think so. I helped Sir Dover make his entry, but I made mine completely on my own. Okay, tell me about that. So you helped Mr. Dover with his dessert, but made yours all by yourself? No matter how you look at it, this seems odd. Why did Mr. Dover assist you? Or why didn't he? Yeah, really, what happened there? It matters not how it seems, it's the truth. I do not know what Sir Dover was thinking. It's hard to prove if someone's lying about something and that happened 18 years ago. 
Hey, Kay, does your secret weapon also work as a lie detector? <laughs> if it did, I'd already have stolen Mr. Ezra's spotlight. There's no need for that. I will expose this man's lies myself. Dang, Gustavia, please continue with your testimony. Makes me wonder, like, why they don't use, like, something like a lie detector in the- Well, I guess we wouldn't have a game if we did that. I mean, I get that. But wouldn't it be easier to just hook them up? <laughs> The flavor of my entry wasn't good enough. My own lack of training was to blame. Talk to me about their lack of training. Up until the finals, I heard that you received high praise for the flavor of your desserts. Was there some sort of accident during the finals? Yeah, what happened there? <laughs> Nothing of the sort. Hmm. I simply was unable to taste my work due to my taste disorder. My intuition must have been off. That's all. Then, was your intuition fine when making Mr. Dover's entry? That's the other thing. Oh, Miles. How could there be such a huge difference between the finals and the previous day? Brr. What, yeah, what does that mean, actually? I mean, I don't know anything about this disease, so-called. Are they gonna explain that? Hmm, we're not getting anywhere at this rate. Should I change the topic? Oh, uh, ask about the semifinals. Ask about Mr. Dover, don't. Well, what... What more are we going to get out of asking about Mr. Dover? If we ask about the semifinals, maybe he can tell me about how he tasted things then? That's- I think that's what I'm going to do. So you're sure there wasn't anything different between the semifinals and the finals? Yes, that's right. Aside from not cooperating with Sir Dover, the finals weren't much different from the semifinals. Aside from cooperating with Sir Dover, the finals weren't much different from the semifinals. Tell me more about that. So you were still able to make your desserts without Mr. Dover's assistance? I may have lacked design sense, but I was confident in the flavor. Apart from the design, there were no major differences between my finals and semi- There's no major- Was, was there anything that happened in between that that I'm not thinking of? What happened in the middle? Didn't we hear about something changing? What was it? <gasps> Wait a minute! <gasps> this is it right here! Maybe! Gustavia's son always came to visit up until the fi- The son tasted the desserts, maybe! I can't- I can't press anything, though. I have to make- Maybe I have to present that on this statement, or maybe the next statement. That sure is strange. That's not how Uncle Ray remembers it. Well, I'm pretty sure both the look and the taste of your finals dessert scored poorly. Then, there's no way he would have won the contest. Even the flavor, which he was so confident about, failed to materialize during the finals. Oh my god, that must be it, though! Something must have changed besides Mr. Dover's cooperation, but what? All those unanswered questions 18 years ago. I should already have the keys I need to unravel them. I must recall all the information that Mr. Shields and my father gathered. Oh, was that- that's the end of the testimony. Is it? Sir so Dover and I cooperated until the finals. I handled the flip. yeah, oh, th this is the beginning. However, I helped if the flavor- aside from not cooperating with Sir Dover, there- is this where I would present it? It has to be because that was the last statement. Am I right about this? <gasps> Dude, your son tasted them for you. There was another difference between the semifinals and finals. This photo depicts your son. We know that he came to visit you up until the finals. That is correct. What does that have to do with anything? Your son, who always came to see you through the semifinals, was not present for the finals. And then, it was only in the finals that your flavor judged poorly. I don't believe this to be a mere coincidence. Oh my god. Okay. Your son's visit must have been very important to you, were they not? Here we freaking go. Oh shit, your balls pop. A father can work miracles when his son is watching. Oh, here we go with that. Oh no, this is gonna be all about father and son stuff. Poor Edgeworth. With my son cheering me on, I was able to make the most delicious desserts. Mr. Gustavia sure sounds like a good father, doesn't he? If what he's saying is the whole truth, one could say so. But just hearing his son's cheers wouldn't be enough to change the taste of his desserts. 
confectioner, confident in a sense of taste, develops a taste disorder. It would have been difficult for him to maintain the taste of his desserts. Your son came to cheer you on. Was that really all he did? Oh, Miles already has it. I bet you anything he tasted them for him. You seem very doubtful, Sir Prosecutor. In that case, I'll turn this around and ask you. What else could my elementary school son have done besides cheer me on? It's right here. He tasted them. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. I'm sure your elementary school son would have remembered the taste of your desserts. Of course. My son always loved my desserts. In that case, he would have been able to taste test your desserts in your place. <laughs> but what did you say? Earlier, you told us that you have a taste disorder. You did say it, dude. Said it right in front of me. <laughs> oh, I think I also went... <laughs> I never told this to anyone. As you say, I developed a taste disorder 18 years ago. Okay. No one else knew about your taste disorder. If Mr. Dover had found out, he would have ended your partnership. After all, you were in charge of the flavor. That's true. Okay, dude. I see. Uh, hello? Oh. <laughs> your son didn't just cheer you on. He also helped you determine if your desserts tasted correct. Oh, here we go with the music. Okay, I'm ready for this, dude. I am, I'm feeling ready right now. I really am, dude. Oh, I see. Mr. Dover's dessert was made the day before, so it still tasted good. <laughs> what are you laughing at now? I don't think this is the time to laugh. What is wrong with you? Is he, uh, is he going a little bit caca cuckoo? What you are saying is quite amusing, Sir Prosecutor. You say that my elementary school son assisted me as a taste tester? You're insulting my pride. Well, your pride. It's true, I had no sense of design 18 years ago. However, I won't lose to anyone when it comes to flavor. You claim I would cast aside my pride and rely on my son? I mean, you already blamed your son for the thing before, so now I'm not even sure what you do. Don't get carried away with your foolish conjecture, you upstart. Oh, oh my god, our bra. In that case, I'm sure your son can confirm if my theory is mere conjecture. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, I no longer have a son. What did you do? What? After my taste disorder was cured, I went to train in Zengfa immediately. During that time, I severed all ties with my son. Why? What happened? What? Why would you do that? Don't tell me. You would even abandon your own son? Oh, Miles is not gonna take that well. You know he's not. That's not all. Even today, the whereabouts of his son are still unknown. Police have been searching, but they haven't been able to find any trace of- Seriously? So he really is still missing. I thought they were gonna kinda like say he went into hiding or he was hiding him or something. You wish to confirm your theory? I welcome you to try. Ah, desserts are the only things that are important to me. Ew! Oh, he's a terrible father, then. After you said those nice things about him. After regaining my sense of taste, my son no longer mattered. Older in the court. Courtney, surely you can't go with that. Come on, now. This dude's not nice. Mr. Gustavi's actions are certainly inhumane. However, we are not here to judge whether or not he is a good father. I guess so, but isn't that kind of like... He was just saying before. Prosecutor Edgeworth, I believe this is your loss. After all... Oh, after all, there is no evidence left from 18 years ago that could prove your theories! C is there nothing? Well, I guess not in that case about the dad thing. The picture was really the only thing we had that linked us to the son. Mr. Edgeworth, is there nothing we can do? Well, at this rate, we'll never find out the truth. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe. Where are those results? That's right! I fucking forgot we were waiting for those! Aw, oh, shit, you know, this is the problem with having, like, cases that are this long and also only doing them, like, a, like a couple times a week. Um, it's, it's very easy to forget. I wonder whose blood it could have been. I asked forensics to look- Oh, no. I'm worried about this. Oh, I'm worried. I entrusted Detective Gumshoe with the last piece of evidence. If only I knew who that blood belonged to. Miles, there's still one thing that's bothering Uncle Ray. 
Was Mr. Gustavia's only reason for coming to the art gallery to check on the body? That's a good point, too. Was that the only reason? If he only wanted to confirm the body's presence, he would have needed to open the case. That's also true. He would have seen it there and known that it was still fine. And, and nobody knowing at the point that he had done anything, possibly, he would have just walked away scot-free. I mean, it's been way too long anyway. So he could have just shown up and seen it and left. That's a really good point. No, he did something else while he was here, didn't he? Oh, no. Is there any way we can prove it? There is one way. We just need that evidence from Detective Gumshoe. Prosecutor Edgeworth, what are you talking about? Mr. Edgeworth, sorry to keep you waiting. Yeah, Gumshoe always comes through right at the last second. Man, he is so good. <laughs> just the person I was talking about. Man, he does it in Phoenix, he does it here, he does it everywhere. He is the best. Oh, I didn't realize Larry was there just drawn away. I didn't realize everybody was still standing around. <laughs> it's always hard to focus on everybody else. Detective Gumshoe, I trust you have the test results? What happened? Of course, sir. I just got the report back from the lab. Oh, this music. It always fucking blesses me. Detective, please be silent. So, this is the evidence that Prosecutor Edgeworth was talking about. Huh? Uh, hey, what's this? Uh, this is the first I've heard of it. Uh... This was a request from me. I asked him to investigate a certain piece of evidence. Why? Why is everyone always helping you out? I'm the one in charge of the crime scene! Mr. DeBest, I apologize for taking matters into my own hands, but how about we hear his report first? Uh, sure. Detective Gumshoe, what were the results? Here's the report, sir. The traces of blood found in the Gemini sculpture belong to... the victim of the poison gas, Dane Gustavia. Oh, I see! What are you saying? Good work, Detective Gumshoe. No, I'm, I'm fucking worried about this. As I thought, my theory was correct. Mr. Edgeworth, what do you mean? We too would like an explanation. What on earth does this blood prove? Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. I, I, I think I know. The blood is something the culprit of the I-7 incident tried to conceal. Can't be! That's... This blood was found inside the glass case of the Gemini sculpture. In other words, your blood was found alongside Mr. Dover's body. Mm-hmm. It's proof that he was- that he did it. It's proof that he was there. No! What? Why would Mr. Gustavia's blood be in a place like that? Oh, here we go with the fucking music. I am cat jamming. If you intend to remain silent, then I'll reveal the truth myself. In the Gemini case, aside from the blood, we also found traces of salt and sugar. Salt and blood. And only one of Mr. Dover's sherbet desserts tasted salty. But come to think of it, I remember Miss Delicia saying the same thing 18 years ago. She did. Oh, yes, he, his sherbet was most delicious. Really? I wish I could have eaten some too. Ah, uh, but there was one piece that was so salty I couldn't even eat it. Salty? It's right here in this photo. It was a part of the liar. That's the liar from the Gemini constellation. Oh, fuck. Exactly. For some reason, salt had been mixed into the liar. No other traces of salt were found in Dover's room. In that case, please explain. Where did the salt detected in the liar come from? <gasps> the fucking salt lamp! I'm dumb, I just got it right now! It's got blood all over it! Oh, I'm so stupid! Why didn't I make that connection? That. Oh, shit! Sorry, I'm like screaming a lot. This happens sometimes at the end of these things. I'm really, I'm really sorry to, to any new watchers. Okay, and old watchers too, I'm sorry. This is the rock salt lamp used as the murder weapon in the IS-7 incident. I believe part of this rock salt lamp was mixed in with the sherbet from the liar. At the time of the murder, there were two rock salt lamps in Mr. Master's room. One of those lamps took Mr. Dover's life. We know that Mr. Dover's blood was left behind on the murderous lamp, however. There were no traces of anyone's blood found at the crime scene, Mr. Master's room. Because the killer disposed of all the desserts with traces of blood into the streams of water, right? That's right. 
No other traces of salt were found in Mr. Dover's room. <laughs> oh, speaking of which... Weren't the two rock salt lamps found in Miss Delicious' room also broken? That's right, they were in the castle. It looks like both the lamps of the pillars are broken. Both of their light bulbs... broken. Uh, maybe they were dropped on the floor. We never did figure out why the other rock salt lamp was broken. Maybe Mr. Gustavia's blood was on the other lamp. If your blood was found on the lamps at the crime scene, you would have been suspected. As the culprit, you would have needed to conceal all traces of your blood from the police. Don't tell me he concealed it in the sherbet liar. Exactly. Ew, that means Alicia might have ate some of it. Oh, God. The rock salt lamp and his blood were mixed into the sherbet liar and hidden inside the glass case. Unlike the fountain's water, the sherbet desserts would not be analyzed right away. Perhaps he had planned to dispose of the sherbet when the opportunity presented itself. Right, maybe like disposing of just that piece instead of the whole thing. Then, the reason Mr. Gustavia came to this gallery... 18 years ago, the body and the evidence pointing to the killer were both stolen. Even the killer could not have anticipated that. There was no way of knowing when the body and the evidence would be discovered. So he planned to destroy the evidence before the Zodiac Art Gallery's grand opening. That's what you did, isn't it? That's what you did! Thank you, Stavia. Isn't it about time you confessed? You are the true culprit of the IS-7 incident. <laughs> Monsieur Gustavia! You're the reason Monsieur Master is... <laughs> Dude, this is hardly the time to fucking start laughing. What is wrong with your ass? Mr. Gustavia. Could it be? After all this time, my crime is finally brought to light. The prosecutors and defense attorneys 18 years ago never even came close. Bravo, bravo, well done, sir prosecutor. What? So you admit that you killed Mr. Dover? <laughs> Maybe he doesn't care now because of the statute of limitations? It is true. I killed Isaac Dover. But he had only himself to blame. Well, I don't care about that shit. <laughs> Just fucking put him in jail. What do you mean? Listen, I don't care what kind of fucking romantic argument you guys had, but really. Dover and I worked together in order to win the contest. No matter who won, we agreed that we'd share the angel's recipe. But on the day of the finals, he stabbed me in the back. Shit over, this isn't what we agreed to. I'm sorry, Gustavia. The deal is off. What? But I made your desserts for you. I'm the reason you got this far. And what of it? Can you prove that you assisted me in any way? Dover, you... You were planning to betray me all along. That's what happens when you work together to scam something, though. That was your own fault. Sucks that he scammed you too, but but you guys were gonna cheat anyway. So maybe don't cheat at things, I don't know. Because of Dover's treachery, I was forced to make my finals entry on my own. Oh, so you were pissed off too, because you had already made his for him, almost shoehorned him into it. Like, to winning. It's just as the prosecutor said, my son assisted me every day until the finals. What about your pride as a confectionery artist? A proud chef loses the ability to taste his own creations. That's a feeling an upstart like you would never understand. Mastering the art of dessert making is my reason for being. It's my one and only pride. Oh no. Committing murder for the sake of pride, that's another feeling I'll never understand. To say nothing of abandoning your own son. Such a thought disgusts me. I knew that it would. Definitely. Before you judge me, first understand what happened 18 years ago. On the day of the finals, my son never came to assist me. Thinking back on it now, I suppose Dover had a hand in it as well. Huh? What exactly happened to your son? I do not know, but it no longer matters. Ever since that day, my son meant nothing to me. Just because of that? From what I hear, he's still missing. And you haven't even looked? That's awful giving up on him like that. Without your son, you had no chance of winning, correct? Yes. And since I was guaranteed to lose, I needed a failsafe. During the afternoon tea time, I made my way to Sir Master's room. I just needed to take a photo of the cure to my taste disorder. It would all have worked out. If 
only Dover hadn't interfered. Oh, he came in right at that time, of course. Ah, oh, Gustavia. <laughs> Trying to steal a picture of my prize, are you? That hardly seems sporting. Phew. Cure for taste disorders. Oh, you have a taste disorder, don't you? Oh, this is rich. A pastry chef who can't taste. Dover, you... No! Ah! Puny worm. You are in no position to oppose me. Why, you... When I attempt to hit Dover, he struck me and sent me flying. I crashed into one of the rock salt lamps, and that was when my blood stained on it. I see. So Mr. Dover wasn't the first one to be injured. To conceal my blood, I shaved off part of the rock salt lamp and mixed it into the sherbet. After that, it became a part of the liar sculpture. So that's how you tried to erase your traces from the crime scene. Dover tried to blackmail me by using his knowledge of my taste disorder. If I didn't want it to become public, I was to pay him a large sum. So, that's the reason you killed him. <laughs> exactly. What reason do I have to let those who obstruct me live? He was the one who drew the first blood. I simply gave him his just desserts. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Jeez, so that was his motive. I carried the rock salt lamp that bore my blood into Dover's room. Then I came up with a hiding place where it would not be easily found. I get it. That room contained plenty of tools for sculpting Sherbert. Your deduction is spot on, Sir Attorney. It was the ideal place to shave away the rock salt. I then proceeded to coat the surface of the Sherbert lard with vast amounts of the salty mixture. Ew. Oh no! We're gonna get we're gonna have these screenshots right up until the end. But why? Why did you try to pin the coin on Monsieur Master? Yeah, what happened? Did you just not give a shit at that point? You are wrong to blame me for that, Lady Catherine. I'm not for your unnecessary meddling. Oh, if not, Sir Master would have never been a suspect. Huh? Why do you think I hid the murder weapon in fluorescent cloth in Lady Delicia's room? There's only one reason why you'd place a murder weapon in someone else's room. He wanted to pin it on Delicia, not Mr. Master. He wanted to pin the crime on Delicia. Oh, me? Yes, that is correct. Gusty, why? Why me? As one who sought to be the world's best confectioner, I greatly respected Sir Master. So it wasn't his original intention for it to go that way. It was never my intention to cast suspicion on him. But an insolent woman who dared to sully the contest with fake desserts. I had no problem letting someone like you take the blame for the crime. That's... Uh, that makes me sad. If you hadn't snacked on other people's desserts, the body would never have been found. It was when Sir Master would be judging Lady Delicia's room. That's when I finally saw an opportunity to freeze the body, but... Before I could move the body, Lady Catherine had already discovered it. Ah, uh, why? Why did you need to freeze Monsieur Dover's body? Why, indeed? Monsieur Edgeworth, please tell us. Why would Monsieur Gustavia have needed to freeze the body <gasps> to throw off the fucking time of death, of course? Oh, that's of course! Because of the limitations! Mr. Gustavia intended to freeze the body in order to throw off the time of death. If the time of death had coincided with the tea party, Mr. Gustavia would have been suspected. That's also true. But he also probably knew that maybe he could keep it for a long time that way. That is correct! Preparations were necessary to freeze the body. While I was preparing in Dover's room, I placed the body in the treasure chest in Sir Master's room. You did all that? I could think of no better hiding place at the time. But thanks to that gluttonous pharmacist, the lid of the chest broke. But why did you disguise him as an ice sculpture? Once the body was discovered, there'd be no time to throw off the time of death. To buy time, you needed to hide it someplace else. How could you hide Monsieur Montova's body within one of his own works? It would all have worked out if the body had... It would have worked out perfectly if it wasn't for you meddling kids. If everything had gone according to plan, Sir Master would never have been arrested. So, because I discovered the body? It is my fault Monsieur Master was... 
Kate, don't take his words to heart. Even if suspicions hadn't fallen on Mr. Master, Miss Delicious would have taken the fall. No matter who he targeted, the one at fault here is Mr. Gustavi himself. That's true. The detective in charge of the initial investigation was also a dunce. To think that he never reported the missing body to the prosecutor. Prosecutor Von Karma indicted Mr. Master without knowing the body had vanished? I see. That would explain why he looked so flustered at the crime scene. That was why! That was why he didn't know! Oh, God! And he never did anything at- Of course he didn't. Although it's something that would stand out if you read the official documents. Could someone have intentionally distorted the information? At any rate, Von Karma found out about the missing body after he had made his indictment. And if he had let one person be acquitted, he'd have a stain on his much prided perfect record. That's why he concealed the fact that the body was hidden and had Mr. Master declared guilty. What are you saying? For 18 years, that man has taken the blame for your crimes. Don't you feel anything at all? I don't care what you say. What a monster. I'm arresting him right here, right now, sir. You can't, though. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that will be impossible. You guys know why. <laughs> so you figured it out. That's correct. You have no right to sentence me. What? What? But the culprit's standing right in front of us. Yeah, but it's too late. Allow me to tell you the reason why you can't arrest me. What? Well, yeah, wait, wait, we have another one? Why you can't arrest me? Bitch, I fucking know the answer. <laughs> it's because it's been 18 motherfucking years. Uh, 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 okay, okay, okay. I, man, I really need someone to come in and tell me when these things start and stop <laughs> without spoilers or something. Um, okay. In the next one, we go through a whole thing for me just to tell the person that it has been 18 years. Oh, this is gonna get so freaking good. We're already at 32 minutes, so I, I really don't want to do this for over an hour. I know you guys would probably love it, but in the next one, we wrap this up, and I'm gonna arrest this motherfucker somehow. I'm going to. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Toodaloo.